Alright, so this is my Terriana world. Uh, I spawn in the druid's room for the moment. It's kind of a greenhouse in the middle of the castle. Above it is the aquarium. I kind of want to work on a little bit more at another table and put something in there. I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. Uh, up here is the throne room. Uh, it originally was a library, but the nurse moved in, and I was playing around with the throne and I liked it, so I kind of want to expand on that more. And here is a dining room. It looks pretty good so far, I think. And I you can see the lava I've been experimenting with. Here is the kitchen. I have a little shelf for cups and such, and cookbooks. And then this is the original house. It's kind of an apartment complex. It's a little bare at the moment. I want to do more with it, but I haven't decided what to do with it. Over here we have the merchant's house, his snow globe collection, his little bench. And then back here is where he works, and he lives above the place. Here we have the clother. I haven't set up any of the mannequins yet, but I'll be doing that soon. He's got a stretcher and stuff, and then here's a cat walk for him, where he can put his stuff on show, and there's a little show to, chair to watch the shows. And I even made a little vanity mirror here, which turned out pretty well, I think. And then on the other side, we have the engineer's house. Basically, all these switches mess with the lights, and it's totally random. It's kind of a pain in the butt to set them off. And then her little workbench has a alternating thing. And then she has this giant engineering anvil. I think she uses it mostly for pancakes. Uh, up here, I kind of want to make a weapon storage area. I haven't decided yet. Bathroom. Uh, I think that might be medieval toilet paper. I'm not sure. And then this is kind of a corn tower thing going up here. It flattens out the top to a giant kind of lookout like Hami's. But if I go up there, the wyvern will spawn, and I don't want to fight him. And I want to replace the piranhas with goldfish, but I can't find a goldfish statue yet. Here is the storage area. It kind of goes down for a while. And I have labels for them. And then it's kind of more of a treasure room. And then the hell elevator. Uh, on this side, I haven't really developed a very good system yet. I'm trying to make a several farms for like moon glow and such. But it takes so long to grow the water leaf that I'm kind of discouraged from messing with it right now. And on this side, we have the mushroom farm. And this goes on for quite a ways. Above it, we have a kind of viewing deck I'm trying to build. And this is a long ways from uh, being completed. Right now up here I'm kind of building a giant terraforming project. I have a tower between this and the main thing, trying to keep the clowns away from the moat. I'm thinking of replacing this one with lava. Uh, but as you can see on this side, I have the moon glow, gr moon glow grass. rather growing, but uh, it doesn't spread this high, so you have to use a seed for each area, which is really tedious. Drawbridge. And trying to get these windows set up takes a really long time, so I haven't gotten very far on it. And uh, this one isn't as complicated. Below it, I kind of have a platform thing going on. kind of want to get a Mario Brothers theme going, but I'm not very far on this side. And then on the other side... Oh, that's my earlier trap in order to get in. It keeps all the monsters out. It doesn't work very well in hard mode because the monsters tend to die pretty fast. Or not die fast at all. I haven't said the drawbridge on this side. And I have floating islands randomly above it, but as you can see, I kind of have multiple layers. Up here, I'm building a basically more of a scenic route that's flat to easier to get around and you can get stars pretty quick and since in the patch it's going to have uh, easier to move around elevations I'll probably ch 
change it a little bit. Uh, I want to make this all blink roots, and then this probably I'm going to have all uh, day glow seeds. And I've stopped doing the pillars at this point because it takes a long time to do that. But I'm going to try and put those in. And that turns into a desert. Oh, the Demon Knight bricks are pretty fun to work with. Those are probably the best bricks just because they have that light glow to them. And then I have these torches set in. I kind of like doing it. I kind of want to do it for the rest of it, but it's going to be a big project. And then, oh, corruption came in here. That's lame. I want to make this part a river on, but I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. It'll take a lot of pumps and such. So I haven't started it yet. Anyways, that's the basics. I kind of want to make this a before and after thing. I want to work on this game a little bit until the patch comes out and see what it's like before it actually comes out. Like how much progress I've made.